What's going on people and welcome back to another FPL recap for Game Week 35, a look ahead to Game Week 36. Let's get into it. First then, I've got Vicario who plays his second fixture tonight against Chelsea. I don't think it would be a clean sheet for either side, so I don't think I'm going to get a clean sheet for Vicario. They could get a result in the game, but I don't think it will be via clean sheet. Um, so I've got Vicario in goal. He's got me one 3-2 Arsenal loss. So not great. Hopefully he can get a little bit more tonight. I've got my three at the back who I had White, Gabriel and Semedo. Um, White and Gabriel only picked up one each for me. Uh, Semedo got me two in the 2-1 win against Luton. And then in the midfield I went with five. I had Saka who got me 12. An assist and a goal against Tottenham in that game. And he got two bonus points. So very happy with Saka. Foden didn't play uh, through illness. So that was annoying because if he had have played he definitely would have got points been my best player this season so it's a shame to miss out on Foden but you can't do anything about illness hopefully he'll be back for game week 36. Gross only got me two fortunately lost 3-0 so was never going to get a return for that. Salah got me one and since I've brought him in he's been terrible so spoiler alert before I get into the game week 36 team um, I'm definitely going to be looking to get rid of him soon uh, because he's been terrible since I brought him in. And in captaincy, I went with Palmer this week. He got me four against Villa in that two-all. Unfortunately, he didn't assist or get a goal, but he got me two nonetheless. So he got me four nonetheless as I captained him. Um, so got a little bit of a return. Obviously, he plays tonight against Tottenham. Obviously, I've got Vicario, so it's a little bit of a... I don't know, because it's just unfortunate with the players I've got, that I've got a keeper for one team and a, an attacker for the other. But I'll take it and, and take the hit on Vicario if Palmer can do something and score or assist as he's my captain. So currently four for Palmer, and then the two up top I had Izak and Visser. Um, Izak I viced, he got me 13. I was close to captaining him, but I went with Palmer in the end. He got three bonus points, scored two goals against Sheffield as well. Um, so doing very well with a 13 return. Bissa got two in the loss to Everton, 1-0 loss. Only played 67 minutes, so I was a little bit annoyed with that. He's been in good form, but didn't return this week for me. On the bench, Neto didn't play, got zero, so made the right choice there. Van Dijk only got one, but all of my defence flopped this week, so... Doughty got one as well for Luton and Tony got two. So again, I got the bench right. Overall points, 39 for me. The average is 41, so I'm slightly under. Hopefully with tonight's game with Vicario and Palmer, I can just get above the average. Not a great week for me. Another red arrow week. Hopefully I can get a few more green arrows squeezed in there before the end of the season. Looking into game week 36 then. Current lineup, as you can see, I've gone with three at the back, four in midfield, three up top. And I've brought in a keeper this week as I wasn't happy with Neto now necessarily being a starter for Bournemouth and Vicario never gets clean sheets. So I've brought in Pickford and I'm going to vice him. They're away to Luton and Everton are on a good run of form recently. They don't concede a lot of goals usually. So I know that they've just had more points deductions though, which doesn't help. But in terms of a fixture for a week, I think it's a good one for Everton. So Pickford I have brought in with my transfer and I'm going to vice him away to Luton. Three at the back then, I'm keeping White and Gabriel as a double up for Arsenal. And then I'm risking it a little bit with Doughty, with Luton at home to Everton. That could go either way, that game. So I'm hoping he can get at least an assist, even if they lose. So Doughty is the third defender. The four in midfield, then I've got Palmer, Saka, Foden and Salah. Palmer at home to West Ham. I fancy him to at least get a goal or an assist. Saka at home to Bournemouth. I actually think it's going to be a tough week for Arsenal, as I said in my predictions. I think Bournemouth are going under the radar. They're in great form. They go there with a lot of confidence. The Emirates is a tough place to go for any team. The way Arsenal are playing this season, but if anyone can cause an upset, it is Bournemouth. I'm actually going to go over draw in that, but hopefully Saka can play his part and still grab a goal. Foden, as I spoke about a minute ago, missed last week through illness, so hopefully this game week... He will be back and straight into the team at home against Wolves, who are a decent side themselves. But I think like when Foden's on form, I think he's been the best player this season in the league. So no question that he needs to be in the team for me. Just hope that he plays and he's not ill still. And then Salah at home against Tottenham. As I said, it's probably going to be the last week that I've got him in because he's just not been performing for me at all. Um, and Tottenham, it's going to be a difficult game, even though Liverpool are at home. Even if they're winning games, I, he's just not involved enough. And he's obviously had that fallout with Klopp recently, as we all saw. So it's just not good at the moment with him. 
And then the three up top, I've gone with Visser, Tony and Isaac. Double up on Brentford, obviously, with Visser and Tony at home against Fulham. It's going to be a tricky game, but I feel like Brentford might edge it, so hopefully they will and those two can play a part. And then the captaincy, I've gone with Isaac away to Burnley. I think in terms of form in the league at the moment, Isaac's arguably number one, coming off of two goals as well in this game week. Way to Burnley, who are in okay form at the moment, but I feel like Newcastle should have enough to at least get a point, if not the three points away there. Um, and I think Isaac will at least get one goal, if not more, or an assist at that. So captaincy is on Isaac. And then the bench, I've got Vicario away to Liverpool. Van Dijk at home against Tottenham. Semedo away to Man City and Gross at home to Villa. So that is how I'm looking for this week's game week, guys. Let me know how your team's looking, who your captaincy is on this week. Good luck with your points and your scoring this week, and I'll catch you soon.